And hello everybody, as always, this is Sphere, and welcome back to the Ender Empire server, Season 4, Episode 5, I believe this would be. Um, I always say I believe it this would be, because I'm never sure. Um, but, as you would notice, this is something different right here. And, uh, you might even say that we are not in our base, but we are. This is going to be our new base, kinda. Um... <laughs> another yet another temporary base. Uh, we are actually not far from our. I believe it's nighttime. Yeah, it is. So let's sleep here. Great, sleeping on the floor. Apparently, the server decided that we should sleep on the floor. We're not worthy of a bed. Uh, but I was going out slime chunk hunting uh, using a slime chunk finder app, and I found my. Uh, slime chunks here so there are actually six slime chunks I just dug out five so one right here right here right here right here and right here and there's also another one right there but there's also uh, a cave there as well that we will have to go and explore uh, to increase our efficiency here um, so far I have um, only noticed slime spawning in that in this this and that chunk I haven't noticed uh, I haven't seen any slime spawn in this chunk or in that one, uh, but I think that would be because I kind of set up my main camp uh, right here, uh, and uh, mobs, they need to be at least 24 blocks away from you in order to spawn, so when I'm right here, um, uh, you can notice that both this and that chunk are completely covered. Actually, when I'm here... Um, majority of the farm is covered under the 24 block radius thing um, so you can't really spawn any mobs in there uh, which is why we are actually gonna not build our base down there but we're gonna go up because when I dug out those chunks and I'm just coming out just to show you where in the heck we are uh, so that right there as you can see is the beach house um, so, you know, so we are pretty far out. Um, yeah. Just, just tell them the coordinates. But, it is pretty awesome though with the chunks here. I've died at one time here falling, so I want to be careful. Um, but I was thinking about where to set up my base around here so that, um, at the very least, majority of the blocks can spawn uh, slimes here which if I set it up just farther off that way all of them will be able to spawn uh, mobs will spawn about 24 to 128 blocks from you however if they are I believe more than 32 blocks away or 36 is it something like that uh, after some time they will idle and basically not move which we do not want to happen uh, just because, you know, if it doesn't move, it can't fall into our trap, and then it's just clogging up the system. Um, so that's a problem. And before we even start digging the canals for water and things like that, uh, we need to ensure that where our base is, is going to be fine for um, slimes. So, we are currently at level Y35, and... We need to add 24, but I'm just going to go on the safe site and add 27, just because I'm not actually sure uh, whether the spawn limit applies just to, like, this block right here, on which they spawn, or if it's, like, all three blocks of a big slime. So I will add 27, so 35 plus 27, so that'd be, uh, so that'd be 55 uh, plus 7. Uh, so 55 plus 7, that would be 62. Yeah, there we go. So let's see here. So 62 will bring us right... Yeah, so that will bring us right here, right about... So it's going to be just barely underground. And of course we could also set up our base right here. But I don't really feel like it just because um, just because I do want to be as close to that number as possible, uh, just to ensure that more chunks are covered. Because the 
higher up we go, the less chunk, the more, I guess, area will be under it. Above 36 or whatever blocks, so. So, as the thing would tell us, the sand is going to be a pain, I can tell you that for a fact. But, um, yeah, so I'll work on digging out this little base here, and I'll catch you guys when I'm done. Alright, so I've dug this out right here, and hey, guess what I've been doing for the past, like, five days on this surfer, pretty much exclusively. Uh, yes, I've been digging. I've been digging the nether hub, I've been digging that out, I've been digging this out. Um, this didn't actually take me that long. Um, and, uh, might be complaining about this right there. Uh, that's just because it goes to outside. I want uh, grass to sprout on there so that looks natural up top. I want to completely cover it so that this base is pretty much completely underground. And, um, which brings me to my next point. Um, and that is, I just had, like, lightning strike <laughs> just outside my window or something. Um, which brings me to my next point. This looks nothing but, yeah, this looks anything but natural. Uh, so, yeah. And I'll give it to myself that it does look better than I thought it would, um, but it doesn't look natural. What I might do is I might cover it with sand or something. Um, and then do some landscaping just to make it look better. Um, it doesn't look too, uh, like it won't be too, shouldn't be too hard to make that look natural and, uh, all that stuff. And then, so now that we have, uh, that figured out out there, uh, now what we just have to do is move all of our stuff there. Which, uh, I hope that's not going to be too big of an issue. Let's actually sleep just to avoid mob spawning uh, out there. Just so that we could have some more efficiency over here in the slime farm. Also, while I was digging this out, uh, some slime spawned here and here. So, that proves that I'm not an idiot. I didn't just dig out the wrong chunks. Um, which is always good to know. But yeah, so, but before I move all of this stuff, obviously I'm going to move it off camera. Um, let me work out where the kennels will be, uh, just because it's a bit of an interesting, I guess, location of all the slime chunks in here and stuff like that. Um, let's work on, on building the kennels so that I, we still get the most spawn, uh, spawning spaces, basically. Um, well, you know, still having candles that don't go crazy. Because, I mean, obviously, the most efficient way to do candles would be to right across these walls and things like that. But then we come to problems like this right here, where that right there is not a slime chunk. This is, and this is not a slime chunk, but this is. So, you know, you would have to do this sort of zigzag pattern. So, we have to make some sort of compromise here. And, uh, in this case, we would just make a candle like uh, like this, yeah. So about the same because it's two chunks here, two chunks there. Uh, so we'll just make a compromise like this. Uh, we need to have our candles be three, uh, three wide, I guess. And then there would be an intersection right here, and um, we'll just have it be like this. So we need to dig out here. Also, I'll need to move my horses up there, which will be fun to say the least. Actually, I could just put them through another the portal, I think. Um, and then, yeah, yeah, and then the killer and uh, things like that will be over here. Uh, it will be automated. I think I might have an option. Eventually, set up like an option thing to. And then tunnels along these walls, they would be just, I would dig into them, I guess. Right there, and, uh, yeah, like that. Uh, but yeah, I want to have this be an experience farm as well. At least for now, eventually I might set up some sort of a thing where you could have it on off key. Uh, but for now, I'll just have them auto-killed and then the slime balls transported up. 
Um, but yes, I think that's all for the candles that we need to make. I think those will go we can like this right here and all the way around and things like that. So I'll uh, dig these candles out, move all this stuff, move the horses, move everything, and uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Alright, so I have moved all of my uh, stuff that was down there over to here. Um, and obviously I'll make it more pretty and stuff like that. Uh, but right now that's not really my focus because uh, what I've also done is uh, why can't I never land properly? Um, and yes, yeah, slimes are spawning here. Uh, let's get rid of this. Don't worry, little slimes. Eventually, you'll be in my little death machine. So many slimes, so many slime balls. All of this from a single big slime. Seems like you can, uh, they don't always give you the same amount of, uh, smaller slimes. Oh, there is another little guy. Alright. Um. Alrighty, so I've dug, as you can see, all the candles, candles out. Candles? Alright. Uh, all of the candles out. Another big slime. Yeah, they're, uh, doing a fairly good job of spawning. Uh, I foresee that to be actually a more of an issue. Why is there Enderman here? Now why is he on fire? <laughs> An Enderman? What the heck? That was, uh... Uh... I'll re-log. See that? Okay. God damn it, how many times do I have to re-log? Uh, I hear more slimes too. Ah! Uh, this is annoying. I just want to do stuff. Alrighty. Ooh, finally. Oh, I have a workbench here, apparently. Uh, so let's just create some signs. Because obviously we need a lot of those for, for this farm. We're not going to need more than that, but that's fine. Uh, I just want to direct the flow of water right now. Uh, which you just get an infinite spring going on here. I know I have an infinite spring up top, but uh, let's just move it down here. Um, I wish you could still do the super ladders. Um, it's pretty old. Um, I think that was fixed in like beta one six or uh, something like that. But basically, it was a water ladder uh, where you would go really, really fast. It was a glitch. Uh, but it was a really awesome glitch, which I wish they still would have had. Um, yeah. So let's move uh, water to here. There we go. Now we have ourselves an infinite water source. And uh, I think the way I'm going to do these streams is that so these two are going to be the, uh, so this one and that one right there. They're gonna be the main sort of streams, so they would go here, and then from over there and over there, everything will come into these two streams, and then they will merge right here, which is where the killer trapper thing will be. Um, yes, hearing slimes around this area too, which is another thing that I need to address. I need to uh, fix it. So I think. So I think from here, I'll put stairs like this, then here, and then 
over here. Yeah, so that will go there. And then I know I. Uh, yeah, I think there will be some sort of a detour here, actually. Yeah, so anything that falls into here will go over there. And then anything that falls here will go that way. Uh, so it will be a little bit of a detour. And now uh, let me get my signs. Uh, so then something will happen along these lines. Uh, yeah. Let me fill up my two buckets. Because uh, so it's a very con much conveniently so. Another infant spring here. Hmm. Oh, I could just do this again. Yeah, there we go. And then that will um, set it up to go into this mainstream. Uh, yeah. Let's go get some more signs. Because that is uh, not going to be enough by any stretch of imagination. Uh, as always, having troubles with my inventory. Uh, that's always... Uh, so hopefully... Yeah, hopefully there will be enough sign. Yeah, so hopefully there will be enough signs. And we should have enough staircases. I don't imagine it would take a lot of uh, these staircases. And, um... Yeah, so this is kind of how we extend water here. This is just an easier way of doing it. Because if we were to place signs right here, it's a pretty old trick, but, um... I mean, if we were to just place signs there, uh, that just uh, would require them to move. Or are they on top of the roof? They're on top of the roof. That's another place that I need to address over there. I didn't. There's not a lot of space above this roof right there, so. But I guess enough for them to spawn. Alright, you could just jump down and die, that's... A lot of them are from the nearby cave stuff, so... Uh, not all of them are... Are on the roof, I'd imagine. Because I always, around there, I always hear, um, slimes, so... And uh, that's the problem with this area. There are a lot of slime chunks. Now, I can't take advantage of all of them. Uh, like, I know that that right there is a slime chunk. And, um... So, you know, it's kind of... But, I mean, if I was to dig out there, there would be no point. Because then, I it wouldn't be possible for me to keep all of the chunks loaded in. Uh, so basically it'd be sort of a big waste of time. Am I doing this correctly? Yeah, I think I'm doing this correctly. At least I hope I'm doing it correctly. Am I though? Actually, if I do something like this, too, and then, uh, oh, can I, are you serious? Are you kidding me? So if I was to do it like this, that and then put signs over here it should still push them uh, 
and then I would be able to also so let's just pretend I'm a slime I am going over over here will this push me yes it will good uh, come on. Now I need to fill up my water And then what I could do is set up an. I uh, let me just do this really quick. Yeah. So then what I should be able to do is to just set up an inter water source here, and this should take them straight ahead to the trap. And uh, yeah, so I'll just do that. Uh, water, and then I'll come back when it's done, and we'll do the killer bit. So uh, yeah, catch you guys then. <laughs> Alright guys, so um, I've dug all the panels, I've moved the ladder over here just because um, this one comes down right in the panel, so um, I've just dug it over here, um, and it, it is fine, uh, it's fine, it's fine, it's pretty well, I've, um, just before I started this recording session, I've um, killed, like, I had like four uh, big slime spawning here, so, uh, so it's working rather well, which is good to know. But now it is time to uh, get the killer and uh, actually automate it. Uh, and I mean, eventually I'm gonna set it up so that it goes all the way up using an, um, what do you call it, dropper elevator. But um, for now, we're just gonna work on just basically having the killing mechanism and then. Uh, focus on other things, and I do have a plan for how I want to do this. So if I go here, and hopefully we don't get ambushed by slimes. But uh, here's my sort of plan. Uh, so I'm gonna have water here. The way I'm gonna do this, by the way, is um, is as you might know. Oh, okay. I guess that's cool. Um. But as you might, oh shit, I'm stuck. Hey now. Um, that's annoying, isn't it? All right. But anyways, the way we're gonna do this is that we are just gonna because slimes they can't swim. Neither can we apparently. Well, we can't swim, but all right, that's. Um, I have a bubble. No, I don't have any chance to armor. That's weird. Bubbles seem to be going kind of slow. Um, but we'll have this be four deep. So we'll dig it to be five deep, and then uh, set up an array of to this guy. Um, care box. Uh, that's that game's test. Uh, he's having problems with me. I really hope it don't actually dry out here. We need to dig two layers. So we can dig this way. Or how long will it take before we get amber by slime? Actually. Alright, sorry about that, guys. Uh, just had something happen that I had to uh, go take care of. There, yeah, there's so. Um, actually, to make it easier, let's, let's get our signs out. And uh, do something along the lines of that. Just temporarily. Oops. Come on, break it. Break already. You. There we go. And boom. And. Where's it coming? Oh, it's coming from the middle now. There we go. Uh, just temporarily, just that we could uh, 
do this thing at, in peace. Um. And boom. Now so we have one, two, three, four. So, and then we just need one more layer for placing our hoppers. So I think what we do is uh, like this. Should go into um, that one there. Now we can break these signs. Uh, this is gonna make it difficult, isn't it? Hopefully, we don't start to crowd. No, we should be good. So now we still have to get out of here. Actually, if we do this, can we? No. So, yeah, let's just do it this way. And then get out. I wasn't jumping there. There we go. Uh, can we not reach? Down there. No. Ah. Uh. Get on dry land. Get out of cobble. It's gonna be a pain to break. Ah, come on. There we go. I think we have our first victim. Let's watch this. Wasn't for Come on. Water is annoying. Probably not much. Let's see. Oh, yep, it's working. Good. Do we have any? Oh, good. We have another slab coming our way. This one appears to be stuck. That's concerning. Never saw him get stuck before. What are they stuck on? Because that is a problem. If they are getting stuck. Oh, they're just taking their time. Are they? Okay, well, this guy's tracking me, so it's uh, not helping. But. That's a problem if they're getting stuck. I mean, this guy is slowly pushing through, and then... Hmm. Is this guy making any headway? Like, at all? It's almost like there are several times there. Okay. 
tree log. Let's see. Why wait, why is it pushing him? Did we Aha uh -huh. That was the issue. Alright. Huh. Guess I missed that. There we go, now he's coming. That's good. See, I really want to see where those big farms die, so. Come on. You can do it, just jump in there. There we go. Good. And the reason I made it four deep is just, just in case these guys can uh, manage to jump out. Get some air. Uh, just to begin the process. Because I don't think they can jump, but they might be able to. That's going to cause a problem. Also, I'm not sure if you guys can hear that or can see them. Good, he split. Awesome. So I'm going to add the chest to pick up our loot. Again, eventually I'll set up a dropper elevator. Currently, it's a little bit out of my reach. It's uh, gonna be way too expensive. Um, but yeah, and then I'm gonna see you guys then. All right. So um, yeah. So I dug in here. Uh, just you know, just dug down. Nothing special. Uh, any slimes coming? Nope. Um, and put a double chest there. Um, I will. Uh, beautify this off camera and things like that. It's not pretty right now, but it will be. Um, you know, I will try to make it look good and things like that. And I think we will focus on generally making this base uh, look better because right now it just doesn't look too good. Um, so if I go up, I'll show you. I mean, I have some pretty. Uh, some pretty big plans for this base. Um, also, I, uh, Zach gave me some another work that uh, went out and gathered some soul sand uh, so I could grow it. Um, you know, so we'll be getting into potion making because I also went to Zed's uh, place farm. I got in a few place rods. Where the heck I put them? Though? There, there. Five blade rods, that's gonna be plenty enough to get us started. And, um, but all of that and more is for next episode. Because for now, I am gonna have to say goodbye to you. And, uh, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.